my glam makeup look at 72 years old. Want to see what I do? Stay tuned! Hi and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am going to do what I would consider a glam look for a 72 year old. The reason I'm doing this is I will be participating in a Galentine's Day uh, collab with five other girls and we have to come up with fashion looks for casual dress, work attire, and date night. Well, if you know me, you know I'm not real big into makeup and I don't like foundation. I don't wear much of anything. I like color, so I like bronze and blush. But other than that, you know, I just don't go all out when it comes to makeup. But I'm going to have to for that video since it's going to include a date night look. So I thought I'd practice and do what I call a glam makeup look for me. Now I've already done my eyes because there is nothing I'm going to do to glam up my eyes. They are what they are. I wear very little eye makeup. I mean I don't wear a lot of color. I hope you can see that. I'll look down a little. I just put on kind of a light transition color. It doesn't matter what color it is to me as long as it's light. I try to put something a little darker right here on the corners, but not real dark so most people don't even notice it. I do wear mascara and I have that on. It's the uh, Maybelline Sky High. And then I don't do anything with my brows except use the e.l.f. Wow Brow to brush through in the beginning and then on the tail. That's it. So I figured it was pointless to do that on camera since it's nothing special and I wouldn't change it for a date night or a glam look or anything else. I already have my skincare on and my sunscreen. Now, those of you who have been with me all along know that I don't like foundation and I just wear a tinted sunscreen, which is the Neutrogena Tinted Sunscreen. And I'll put it in the description box below. But once I put that on and my bronzer or blush, then that's considered my makeup for me. But this time, I'm going to put on some foundation. Ugh. I, can, I don't like the way it feels on my skin. And I'm going to put on some concealer. And then, of course, um, my normal blush and bronze. And I'm going to try to do a lip liner, which I don't do either. So, let's get started. I'm going to use some primer. I have not used this before. I bought it a month or two ago and I've never used it. And it is called the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with 4% Niacinamide. So, I'm going to use it. I don't know what it's going to do for me, but I'll go ahead and give it a try. You know, in my everyday look and my lifestyle, being retired, uh, being here at home, living in the Hilton Head area of South Carolina. I'm outdoors a lot. I like to walk. I like to be outside. I like to rake the yard. I like to pull weeds. You know, just simple things. I love to clean my house. So there's no reason for me to go all out and wear heavy makeup or a glam style look for my lifestyle. Now, I always try to look presentable. I do always wear what I show you on camera, the, the sunscreen, the lipstick, and the blush and stuff. But 
other than that, why do I need anything else? But we're going to we're going to practice today. So, I'm going to start off with this Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer and I have the shade Light Tan. And what I'm going to use this for is what I see other people do because I don't know a whole lot about makeup. And they put it on any little spots or discoloration. So, I've talked about this right here, this age spot. Um, I think, what is it called? A, a lentigo, lentigo or something like that. I've tried everything to reduce it. It's not going away, but that's okay. So, normally I just don't worry about it, but today I will put a little bit of that on. Uh, let me see. I think I have... Two little light spots over here, one here, 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 and then my nose gets red across the top and especially on the sides because I wear glasses. So I'll just put just a little, ooh, I think that was too much. I'll put that there and let's see what it does. So I'm going to take a sponge. It is damp. And I'm just going to go over top of this. And just pat it into my skin. Let me do up here by the nose. I hope you can see what I'm doing. It's hard to do this when you have to look in a 10x mirror. And you need it smack dab in front of your face. But then you all can't see what I'm doing. So I'm doing the best I can. All right. That was that. Next, now again, I don't wear concealer, but I do wear this Catrice Eye Brightener. It's like a peachy color, and normally I just dab a little on my finger and put it on the inside corners of my eyes, or I'll use my Garnier Roller Ball, but I'm going like full glam for this old girl. So I'm going to use real concealer. I'm going to use this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I can't see the color on here, but trust me, it's light. And when I say you need just a dot, I mean a dot. This stuff, oh, it's pretty powerful. So I don't even know if you can see that dot on my finger. But that's all I'm going to use because... Then when I tap my fingers together, I mean, look at that. That's a lot for that teeny tiny drop. So I'm going to put it just right here and on the side of my nose. And then I'll put it, let me turn, on the inside corner here and up here on my nose where I'm dark. Then I'm going to take a, a little brush and I'm going to try to blend that in. And, well, it looks blended to me. You know, when you're 72 and you have to wear glasses just to see, even with a magnifying mirror, it's hard to see what you're doing. I think I need a little more, a little lower because I can see darkness coming down here and here. And um, I want to lighten that up. And then I'll also try this. I'll put it on a little on the outside of my eyes. So I'll take my brush and just kind of blend that in. And then I'll smooth out what I just put on here. Come down a little further for these dark spots. And that's it. I don't like to put any concealer through here. I'm just taking, as you can see, there's really nothing left on my hands, but I'm just kind of smoothing this out and blending it in. Well, not too bad. All right, now comes the foundation. Ugh. 
But this isn't bad. This is the L'Oreal True Match. And I have it in N4, which is light medium. I think it's a little too light for me. But I'll give it a try. And I'm not going to use much. So here it is. I, I know I don't have much on there, but I just don't like foundation. So I'll put it over that age spot or lentigo and put it over here and then maybe just a dot on my chin and down my nose. I guess that's good enough. I do not put makeup on, you know, on the perimeter of my face. I don't put anything on my forehead. You can't see it anyhow, so why bother? Then I'll take my damp sponge and I'm just going to just kind of tap over that or what do they call pounce it in. Again, since it's, you know, not heavy and thick and um, a color that doesn't match my skin or something that's too dark, I don't have to worry about it not blending like, you know, coming all the way back towards my ears. Some people even go over their ears. Oh my gosh, I just couldn't do it. It's just, I don't know, I just don't like the way foundation feels on my face. So, I think I've got that tapped in pretty good. Looks okay to me. Now, to you, it probably looks like I don't even have anything on. And I still have just a touch of that little dot <laughs> on my hand. I do not do my neck or anything like that. That's it for me. Next, I put on a bronzer. I've had this Mark Jacobs. It's called Tantastic bronzer for probably four years. I got it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx for $9.99, which is a darn good price. And I wear it all the time. And look, it doesn't even look like there's a dent in it. And this bronzer from this guy, Mark Jacobs, supposedly, he sells some expensive products, but when you can get it at a discount store for $9.99, why not? So I've got this little brush. I think they call this a kabuki brush. And I'm going to go ahead and go over my cheeks just kind of lightly on both sides. I don't contour and do all that stuff. And then I'm going to get a little bit more and... I actually go over my whole face pretty much so I'll start there again I'm gonna come down I'm going all around my lips go here again come across my nose and that's it that gives me the color I want then I'll put on some blush this is the NYX sweet cheeks in the shade baby doll I really do like this and I've had this maybe two years. I wear it a lot. It's just a, a pretty shade of pink. I'll show you what it looks like on my hand. I hope you can see that. And I'm just going to take two fingers, dab it in, and dab it on. Whoa, that's pretty pigmented. But I'll just tap it out. I just want the color and I want it kind of high up and then I'll do the same on this side put it right up here kind of go you know up towards my temples and pretty close to under my eyes because I want to keep it high well I think that gave me just a nice pink shade Pink is one of my favorite colors. All right, finish with that. And I still got quite a bit left on my hand. Again, I don't like anything real heavy. So now I'm feeling super glam. I guess because I have a little foundation on 
and some concealer. I know most people's idea of a glam look for a date night or something would maybe be some sparkly eyeshadow. I think that would look so pretty, but not on me. And, you know, maybe uh, two or three coats of mascara and maybe a little more full coverage foundation. I don't know. But again, I'm, I'm not a, a glam girl. But again, this feels like a lot of makeup to me. Now, it may not to you, but it really does to me. So I feel like, wow, I'm date night ready because I have makeup on. <laughs> well, let me get on and do my lips and then I'm done. Okay, for my lips, I'm using this uh, NYX lipstick. It's in the shade Dolly Pink. Oh, that's a bright color. Isn't that bright? So I have to leave my glasses on because otherwise I'd be lining all around my lips and not on my lips. I'm not good at lip liner. I generally do not wear it, but for a date night, I'd give it a try. So, I don't overline and do all that stuff. You know, you learn to accept yourself the older you get. You kind of stop fighting the battle because you're not going to win the war. Things happen. Our lips get thinner. Yes, it's nice to maybe enhance them a little so they don't look quite so thin, but... I don't want to go overboard and look fake and all that. So I'm just going to accept the lips I have. They still work. I can talk. I can kiss. That's all I need. So I lined the bottom one. Probably can't even see it. I do not go all the way to the corner. Uh, I come in about to here. And then I'm going to do the upper lip kind of hard to do this and talk you know because you have so many lip lines as you get older at least I do so it's really hard to even get a nice straight line you know you're going along real smooth and then there's like a big crevice it's a wrinkle, a lip line that's gone into your lip. Do any of you have that? And then, you know, you got that dip and you got to kind of push it in there or else it won't cover it. Now I'm going to put my lipstick on. It's from All May. Uh, this has been out for years. It's called Eat Cake. Hmm, interesting name. Love the bright shade. Now, to me, when I want to look a little glam, I like to wear like a bright colored lipstick. Many people will wear red lipstick for kind of a date night or a glam look. Me, not so much for red, but I love hot pinks and bright pinks. So, I'm going to put this on, and let me tell you, it is... Hmm... That's a bright color, isn't it? All right. I think that's good enough. There, I did it. So this is my finished date night look where it's more glam than I ever wear. Oh, I forgot one thing. We have to wear some highlighter. And for me, that's my Vaseline stick. Works better than anything else. Just rub it on my finger tap it high up on the cheekbone like right on the orbital bone and then I do the same on this side it just gives me uh, just a natural glow does not uh, highlight or accentuate any texture it's very moisturizing I'll put a little tip on the end of my nose above my cupid's bow and that's it so, that's how this 72-year-old would get ready for a date night and have more of a glam look. 
Let me know if you are as minimal with your makeup or do you still like to wear, you know, all the stuff. There's a lot of stuff you could do and it looks fun. I think it looks great on camera on many people, but honestly for me, now everybody ages differently, but for me, I just can't wear all that makeup. I feel like less is more the older I get. Now, if I had a fuller face with less wrinkles, I could probably get by with it. But I don't. I have too many lines and wrinkles and crepiness and all the things that um, a more natural look is best for me. Well, now I'm going to leave you with an inside beauty tip. My inside beauty tip today comes from John 15:5. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. I absolutely love that verse because we get our life source from Jesus, you know, just like the branches of a tree. If we abide in him and maintain that close connection, he will feed us everything we need. We will bear fruit like kindness and compassion and consideration for others. Where it says, apart from him, we can do nothing. Well, maybe we can do some things, but not the way he would want us to do them. He can accomplish the impossible in us. When we're tired and weary and worn out, grief-stricken, sad, burdened, all those things, we can get through it all through Christ because we abide in him. He is our strength. There have been so many situations in my life that I would say, there is no way I'm going to get through this. I just can't do it. I can't go on another day. And yet, I do. Somehow, some way, he gives me the strength there have been many times where I've gone months with as little as two or three hours of sleep with my ma and my sister when they were sick and I was caring for them. And some days I would feel so exhausted and think, how am I going to do this another day? But you know what? I did. And I did it joyfully. I had the strength. I had the energy. He carried me through it, and he will carry you through anything in your life as well. If you want to have a purposeful, fulfilling, and joy-filled life, always remember that he is the vine, and we are the branches, and through him, we can get through it all. I thank you so much for being here today. I truly do appreciate it. And until we meet again, this is the old girl signing out. See ya.